I, I've got to now talk about something that I never thought I'd talk about. And this is going to be a long-winded lead-up to a question. I've been pointing out on this program, 18 U.S.C. 793, mishandling classified information, the Espionage Act, and destroying it. By the way, it would apply to a lot of people. I've talked about if, if I was subpoenaed for, thir for all my emails and I deleted 33,000, and then I acid washed my hard drive. Nobody heard of Bleachbit until Hillary Clinton and Bleachbit, and then had a, an aide bust up all my devices like she had happened. I never heard of an exoneration being written in May before you interview 17 key witnesses and the main person, Hillary Clinton, in July. The person that does the interview hates the opponent of Hillary Clinton. Then they exonerate her for, I believe, obvious felonies. Right. Then... They talk about Russia collusion. Hillary Clinton and the DNC funnel money through a law firm, Perkins Coie, and unbelievable to me, a foreign national who we heard wasn't supposed to be involved in, in our elections, Christopher Steele, gets Russian sources. The FBI never verifies it. They present it to a FISA court to spy on an American citizen a Trump campaign associate, weeks before an election, they never verified, they never corroborated, and they never told those judge in the original application, three subsequent applications, that Hillary paid for it and they never oh. verified it. Mr. Mayor, were laws broken? Let's start with Hillary. Did she? Yes. Now, I've been on, uh, look, we go back three years with this, Sean, when I produced my chart. What was I it? remember. 13 crimes she committed, yeah. and we got up to about 18. I'm sorry, Hillary. I know you're very disappointed you didn't win, but you're a criminal. Equal justice would mean you should go to jail. Uh, the, the, I do not know why the Justice Department is not investigating you. Did James Comey... Did did James he, Comey fixed the whole case again. It was rigged. Well, you can't read that stupid report that he wrote, which is the beginning of his destruction, in which he, he says we're not going to prosecute. No reasonable prosecutor would indict her. No honest, reasonable prosecutor wouldn't indict her. He said today, or yesterday, Comey, uh, he said Hillary deeply respects the rule of law. Comey said that. Wow. Well, then, this, is, this is a very perverted man. I, I, I feel so sorry. Do we have a two-tier justice system in America? Yeah, we have one for Hillary and, 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 uh, and all, the, all, those, all those Democrats. Bill Clinton. Is equal justice under the law at risk? You and I have, have, have talked about this. I am very afraid, not just for our president, but for our country. There's going to be a witch hunt against Republicans. You, you, you had the man on who, who's lost all his money. For what reason? He didn't do anything wrong. The president of the United States didn't do anything wrong. We are lucky that we have a president who can focus. In a way, it almost hurts him, because they feel they can do anything to him, and he's going to remain focused on North Korea, Iran. What do we do with China? How do we help Israel? What do we do about taxes? The, the economy has an incredible story. The media never focuses on it. I actually had to write this down. If we have the Hillary standard, the interview would never be under oath. The it would never be recorded, never be transcribed. Uh, and okay. by the and way, all the witnesses that are favorable to him would be, would be in the room immunized. Oh, and charity be immunized. Uh, Cohen to be immunized. We'd write, be immunized. we'd write the exoneration before the interview. Then we would agree to destroy incriminating digital evidence like they did in the case of Cheryl Mills and, and Hillary. And, and either you or Rush Limbaugh would do the interview. <laughs> Rush and I would not object. Well, Mark Levin. <laughs> Mark right. oh, Levin. I don't think. Yeah. Um, there's all the there was a political report today basically suggesting Mueller would now consider Ivanka Trump. A a target. The, but the, uh, look, uh, look, look at Hope Hicks as one example. Come on. I, she I paid more in lawyers than she was ever paid. Hope, Hope is, um, I wish the American people could get to know her. Hope is one of the nicest human beings you're ever going to meet. Yes, she's very loyal to Donald Trump. But I, I think the president would say this. She could stand up to him when she had to. What they did to her is outrage, absolutely outrageous. Ivanka Trump... I would, I, I think I would uh, get on, get on my uh, charger and go right into the, right into their offices with a lance if they go after Ivanka. I, I, at this point, sir, I, I honestly agree with you. I fear for the country. Let me go through. Now, if so, they, if they do do Ivanka, which I doubt they will, it's, the whole country will turn on. 
They're going after his daughter? What about his son-in-law? They talked about him. I guess I, uh, Jared is a fine man. You know that. But men are, you know, disposable. But a fine woman like Ivanka, come on. Andrew, let's go through the different issues that we have brought up and spoke almost exclusively about on this show. For example, you mentioned Hillary Clinton. She obviously committed felonies. We know what they are. You've identified them. I believe, as you do, Comey rigged that. Comey, look at Peter Strzok and Page. The, they hate the, do, the president. They hated the candidate. They talked about an insurance policy. Um, uh, all, Andrew McCabe lying under oath. James Comey leaking for the purpose of getting a special counsel. Also, uh, Comey and McCabe contradicting each other. In be which one of, them has to be, one of them has to be lying. I mean, I actually think Comey's lying. I think Comey's a bigger liar than McCabe. Mm -hmm. I think McCabe is, a, McCabe is a, a situational liar. He's a much bigger liar. So um, if this were an equal system of justice, they'd all be prosecuted. Let me ask you, because this... It's my biggest regret. I'm sorry, Jeff, to say this. But you it's, offered it, the job. Yeah, it's my biggest regret in not having taken that job. I wanted to be secretary. My biggest regret, and I like Jeff Sessions, but he never should have recused himself. Well, never, he never should have appointed Rosenstein. I've never heard of somebody being appointed or confirmed and recusing do you, do you, the next do you, do you, day. Do you, do you know that Rosenstein was with Mueller the night or the day he was interviewed by President Trump to be FBI director, walked out, knew that he was turned down, and then appointed him the next day? Yes. There are. Did you know Rod Rosenstein, apparently, according to reports that we have it on this program, signed off on one of the FISA uh, extensions? The one with the unverified dossiers, the bulk of information, as the, as the Grassley Graham memo said, that he personally signed off? Does that not conflict him out of all of this? How about he's also a witness to critical information uh, for, for an, a Justice Department that pontificates? I told you, the only crimes committed here are by the government. Let me ask you about them. Andrew McCabe said, without the dossier, there wouldn't have been a FISA application. I would ask you, doesn't the FBI, according to FISA, a law you're very familiar with, an FBI protocol mandate that they verify, corroborate what they present to a FISA judge, isn't that mandatory? Wouldn't it be mandatory to identify that the dossier was created by an opposition party candidate and not as a political asterisk? Absolutely. Is that a crime? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Obstruction of justice. Invasion of people's privacy on no basis at all. It's a civil rights violation. Unreasonable search and seizure? Yeah. Um, it's a civil rights violation. If they, if they searched you and me based on that, we'd sue them for a civil rights violation. This is a Justice Department completely unhinged and out of control. It breaks my heart, Sean. I devoted most of my life to the Justice Department. I work for great attorney, attorneys general. My friend Michael Mukasey was one of the greatest, and I watched it with great Your admiration. Partner. My partner. Great admiration for Michael. To watch this happen under a man that I love, Jeff Sessions, I just feel bad. And I know the president is heartbroken over this. It isn't that he's angry, he's heartbroken. Mr. He never expected this from Jeff. The two of them can redeem themselves, Sessions and Rosenstein. They should order the investigation over. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, do I don't think it's going to happen either. But if they understood Justice Jackson's admonition to prosecutors that I always live by, which we're not supposed to get convictions, we're supposed to do justice. Let me stay focused on this FISA issue for just a second, because Rod Rosenstein, uh, after they had subpoenaed the documents, went into Paul Ryan's office begging him not to release it. We never would have had the Nunes memo or the Grassley Graham memo that said the bulk of the, the application was the, the dossier Hillary paid for. So my question is this. Not only that, there were three subsequent renewals yeah. with the same false information, it's the same uh, lying by omission, if you will, by not telling the FISA judges that, it was a, that Hillary paid for it. If I stand up in court at some point in the next three or four months where I really like to be, and I recite these facts, I think the judge is going to look at me and say, I don't believe that's true. How could the Justice Department have gone so far away from the fair and honest administration of justice 
under decent people. But I think the pressures on them were so great, they just caved in. And I, once again, I say, there's one way to redeem themselves. Get control of this. This, you, you remember Senator Stevens' case? Sure. Oh, yeah, he lost an election, and then the judge overturned it all because they withheld exculpatory evidence. Because of government misconduct. That's correct. Well, there's been more government misconduct in this case than there has been conduct. Are you concerned? This was supposed to be about Trump campaign Russia collusion. Gone. It's gone. Okay. Never happened. He's been cleared of So that. my question is, are you concerned in the process of this, we did discover that a foreign national, Christopher Steele, was paid through Fusion GPS, used Russian sources that not only weren't verified, turned were debunked. Are you concerned that that was paid for to manipulate the American people in the lead up to an election? Isn't that closer to the mandate than Michael Cohen? Why isn't that having being, something? Where's to, Mueller on that, sir? Having, having, having something to do with paying some Stormy Daniels woman 130000 I mean, which is going to turn out to be perfectly legal. That money was not campaign money. Sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm, and the president repaid it. Oh, I didn't know he did. Yeah. There's no campaign finance law. Zero. So the president... Just like every... Sean... So this decision Sean, was made by... Everybody, everybody was nervous about this from the very beginning. I wasn't. I knew how much money Donald Trump put into that campaign. I said, 130000 Mm -hmm. He's going to do a couple of checks for 130000 When I heard uh, Cohen's uh, retainer of 35000 when he was doing no work for the president, mm. I said, but that's how he's repaying. That's how, he, he, how he's repaying it, with a little profit and a little margin for paying taxes for Michael. The Look, president, but do you know the president didn't know about this? Uh, I believe that's I, what He didn't Michael know about said. the specifics of it, as far as I know. But he did know about the general arrangement that Michael would take care of things like this, like I take care of things like this for my clients. I don't burden them with every single thing that comes along. Uh, these are busy people. What did you think of the raid on his office? <sighs> One of the reasons we would hesitate to uh, cooperate any further, and I think this is what the breakdown with, with Dowd, uh, during, during, uh, back in January. That took them by surprise. That's beyond anything. That is an outrageous violation of attorney-client privilege beyond Donald Trump's attorney-client privilege. A lot of innocent people. I gave have, him 10 bucks or 20 how bucks. How about innocent people like... All right, we got to continue. Who, who called you that night? I'll talk to you about that when we get right. back.